So you are on your investment journey and wanted to know what is a taxable brokerage account. There are a lot of investment options out there. From the past, I have covered 401k, Roth IRA, HSA, and 529 investment plans. In this video, I will talk about the benefits of investing on a taxable brokerage account and when you should start investing on a brokerage account. Stay at the end of the video and I will share with you how we use it to achieve our financial goals. Hi, my name is Hero and welcome to my channel, Financial Hero. In this channel, you will learn about personal finance, travel hacking using credit card rewards, and valuing relationships. Alright, so what is a taxable brokerage account? A brokerage account is an investment account that allows you to buy and sell variety of investments such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs. Whether you're saving money for your future or saving up for big purchases, you can use the brokerage account however you want. There are a lot of different online brokers out there like Fidelity, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, and more. But personally, I like Fidelity so I can manage all of our investment accounts all together. Now let's talk about the top 3 benefits of a taxable brokerage account. Number 1 is flexibility. You can take out money out of a brokerage account at any time and for any reason without paying early withdrawal penalties. Unlike on your taxable brokerage account like your 401k and Roth IRAs. This is very important for us especially we are planning to retire before the age of 59 and a half. Imagine on early retirement if we only invest to our 401k and Roth IRA, we will have to pay the 10% early withdrawal penalty if we retire before the age of 59 and a half. But since we treat our brokerage account like our bridge account for our early retirement, we will be able to have all the flexibility that we need. Having a plan on our financial goals is very crucial on our savings and investments. As what they always said, personal finance is personal. Only you can answer what fits on your financial goals. Number two is there is no contribution limits. Another huge advantage of the brokerage accounts is that you are allowed to put as much money as you want. Unlike the 401k, the maximum contribution this year is 22500 and for Roth IRA is 6500 based on my age. Since this is not your tax advantage account and you are investing your after-tax money, the government does not really care how much money you wanted to invest on your brokerage account. Number three is there is no income limit. If you are making a lot of money, you cannot contribute to your 401k and Roth IRA. That is why this could be a big advantage of the brokerage account. So when should you invest on a brokerage account? Number one is once you maxed out your 401k, Roth IRA, and HSA contributions. In personal finance, there is what we call order of investing. We wanted to maximize our tax advantage accounts first before we proceed to the brokerage account. But again, it depends on your unique situation. Not everyone can save or invest that amount of money that is why you do what's the best for your situation. Number two is if you wanted to retire early like us, we can tap to our brokerage account first while we are bridging the gap until we can start withdrawing money to our retirement accounts without any penalties. Just imagine having a lot of money on your 401k and Roth IRA, but you still cannot retire early since all of your money are tied up on those retirement accounts. That is the flexibility that the brokerage account can give you. Number three is if you wanted to save for your long-term goals. These are any financial goals more than five years. Let me give you an example. Let's say you wanted to pay off your house faster. There are three things that you can do. Number one is you can set up a bi-weekly payments. Number two is to add towards your principal. Or number three, set up a brokerage account with a goal to pay off your house faster. As having a low interest rate like 3.125%, it makes sense for us to invest our money on a low cost index fund like S&P 500 with an average return of 8% annually adjusted to inflation. We will use our brokerage account for the purpose of paying off our house faster than the other two options. Once the actual balance of our mortgage is equivalent to our brokerage account, it's now up to us if we still wanted to pay it off or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it and you wanted to see more content like this, 
be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you.